from Pixel Art Mysteries in Education and have a short tutorial for you today on how to add task cards to a color reveal using drop down menus. We'll just dig in right away. I have one of our color reveals here, and this is the final image because all of the answers right now are currently just one through 10 and all of them correct. Over here, you have the space where you're going to put the problem. So you notice these are just numbers, answers, no, no question area like you would normally see. Um, instead, our questions are going to be here as either a long paragraph or as a task card. So this is the where it would start, where it says choose a task card. So you have to teach your students about the drop down arrow right here um, so that they would know how to use this. It tells them right here to choose a card from the drop down menu and then be sure to um, put the answer in the corresponding location. So if they are going to go to number one, which I don't have anything in there yet, they would need to put their answer in number one. So you have to make sure your students are capable of doing that if you're going to use this um, template. So uh, let's go to sheet two where you can see where to put in the task cards or whatever else you're going to put in there. So this is what it looks like normally. You have your image series here. These are the different images that appear one at a time um, as they get an answer correct. Here I have um, the choose a task card numbers one through 10. So this is what shows up in the drop down menu. Whatever is in this space is what will appear in the larger box. So if I were to perhaps write a long paragraph in here, when my student on sheet one would choose number one, they would see the words long paragraph. Okay. Whatever is in this box in this column will show up when they choose this number. So for example, I have some task cards already in here. Let's take a look at those. If you choose number six, you will see I have a task card already entered in there. So whatever is in that space, whether it's text or an image, that is what will appear when your student chooses the different numbers. So let's go to how do you put an image in here? Same as you put the images in here, if you were to change this to put in a new image series, you go to the insert menu and image and insert image in the cell. Now I have mine all in a folder, all lined up in my um, documents. And I like to use a split screen when I do this. I don't know if anyone else ever does that, um, but it is such a time saver for me. Um, to do that, you hit the Windows key and an arrow to the left or right, and that is where the screen will go. And then you can open your second screen and send that to the other side. So this one here is all of my task cards. I'm going to go back to where I want to put it in, in space number one. So I just have these here on the left just waiting for me. Back in our document, insert image in the cell. And then when this box comes up, I don't have to browse for it. I can simply just drag it from here into there. So easy, so much easier than hunting for it. So now we can, if we go back to uh, sheet number one, you will see as we choose number one, there's the task card that we just put in. All right, I'll show you how quick and easy this is. I'm going to go ahead and insert the rest of the task cards. Drag this one over. Insert image in cell number three. I think I was just moving too fast for Google and it didn't like me. My internet hasn't been all that stable for the last couple of days. All right, almost finished with my fifth card in there. Now, as I said, you don't have to use task cards. If you have just larger problems, like a story problem or something that's an entire paragraph, that might be a great thing to put in here and use because then on sheet one, uh, the document that the students are seeing, you will see that nice big area. So now if you see, we go through them all. Each task card is there. Now we have to go in and put our right answers in, okay? so. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but you would put your correct answers in here. Uh, and then you would repeat by putting the correct answers in this column. And as you do that, you're in. if we erase all the answers. Welcome back, friends. I am going to finish out this activity by putting in the correct answers on the front and then on the sheet two. 
um, so that the activity would be ready for your students. So I've put in most of the answers. I'm just going to show you. you have to go through um, each card unless you've kept a record of, of what goes where, but I would always check to make sure you put the right test card in the right place um, before you um, type in your answers. If you mixed up questions or task card nine and 10 and then put the answers in there backwards, your students could get really frustrated. So once you have all of your answers on the front, you have to change them on sheet two. I've done that with the first one. That's why it's showing up green. If you look at sheet two, I have um, the answers right here, 1 20th. So what I'd like to do is take a quick screenshot of my answers. Sometimes I'll use my phone and just take a photograph. Um, I find it just as easy to do a screenshot and then paste it over here so that I can quick look at it and type in my answers. After I type in the correct answers each time, I go back to sheet one, I can see that, all right, three of them have turned green and I'm seeing more of the image. Let's go back and put in number four. Let's see a little bit more of the image and box four is now green. All right, I will finish these up. It really, if your problems are ready and your task cards are ready, it takes just a few minutes to get it all finished. Now you can see our final image. All of the answers are green, so we know they're correct. Now before you would assign this to students, you have to do a couple things. Let's go back to sheet two. You got to delete this, get rid of it. You want to hide a lot of what's on here. Um, I will typically hide the columns that have images in them. So if you select column L at the top, you can use the little drop down arrow here, click on it and select hide column. I'm gonna hide this column as well. So you can also do it by um, right clicking after you selected the column and then click on hide column. And what I have left here, I actually will highlight all of this text and I change the font size on all of it to one. Now that's not a choice in the drop down, but if you just click in the space and then type a one, all of the answers go down to, to one point font. And then I will change those answers to white. And now they don't, don't look like they're there. So this is, this is the top of the dock of sheet two here. So I will also hide sheet two. There's a little button or arrow on the sheet two down here where you can click um, and then hide sheet. Um, you can also right click on sheet two and then hide it. Now, if you need to find sheet two, and it's already been hidden on something. If you click on these lines right here where it's, and then all sheets will show up, that's how you would find sheet two again. It's grayed out right now because it's hidden. So I'm going to keep it that way because I don't want the students to know where it is. Okay, so still not quite ready to assign to students. I would always put this back on the instructions right here. And then you have to delete all of the answers, right? And now it is ready to assign to students. You want to make sure that when you assign it, you're giving a copy to each student and assigning it through Google Classroom is definitely the easiest way to go. Um, just a reminder, these activities with the picture image series, they do not work in Excel. They only work in Google Sheets. Excel treats pictures and images differently and it just doesn't translate the same. It's possible to do it in those, but it's a totally different formatting. So if you have any questions, um, you know, reach out to us. Otherwise, um, Hope this helps and hope you enjoy putting some task cards into your color reveals. Have a great day.